Hi friends, it's story time. I have another Boo and Ba story for you today. Oh, I love these so much. This one is called Boo and Ba Get Wet. And it's by Olaf and Lena Landstrom. Anything that they do is fantastic. There are a lot of these Boo and Ba stories, but they're from Sweden, so they're a little hard to find. But anytime Boo and Ba are in a story, it's going to be really good. In fact, it was translated, it was written in another language and translated into English by Joan Sandon. So it starts with this picture. Hmm. Look at their faces. That's an interesting way to start a story. They don't look like they're feeling that well. The story starts like this. Boo and Ba have been swimming and playing croquet all day. This is the game of croquet. See, they, they have those little mallets, and those mallets stay low on the ground, and they tap the ball through those hoops that are on the ground. Now it's time to get ready for bed. They're brushing their teeth. Oh, they have bunk beds. Before they go to sleep, they each read a good night story. Uh-oh. Do you see the books that they're looking at? It looks like Boo is reading a story about... Boo is on the top bunk. What do you think? Ghosts? Ba has a book with another scary picture on the front. Uh-oh. If I read a scary book or see a scary movie right before sleep, I get a little nervous. I hear something rumbling, says Boo. Maybe it's an airplane, says Ba. <gasps> and then, what now? What happened? I can only see their eyes in the dark. Lightning! Oh, look at their faces. It's dark. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Count Boo and Ba. It's nice to be inside, says Ba. So they're looking outside. Sometimes people count between the lightning and the thunder. First you see the flash of light, and then you count one, two, they're saying thousand to space out the numbers, but, and then in a few seconds, you'll hear the of the thunder. <gasps> oh no, the croquet set, cry Boo and Ba at the same time. <gasps> Boo and Ba left the croquet set outside. We have to go out and get it, says Ba. Do we have to, says Boo. Oh no, they have to go out in the storm? We'll have the flashlight with us, says Ba. They're putting the flashlight on the ground so that the light will go straight up and light the whole room a little bit for them to put on their rain gear. That's a good idea. Boo still thinks it's very dark outside, even with a flashlight. Mm. And the croquet set has so many pieces. They're looking at all the things they have to collect. Boo's hands are full. He puts the flashlight in his mouth. So here he is. He's trying to use his hands to pick up the pieces. So he puts the flashlight in his mouth and he's leaned over. So the flashlight is pointing at the ground. When he stands up, the flashlight is pointing <gasps> to this. Da -da -da. Help! Boo cries. He drops everything and runs. What is it? asks Ba. Ghosts! squeals Boo. Help! Help! cry Boo and Ba. And they're so busy running away, they fall into the swimming pool. 
which was very full of water from the rain. Earlier in the day, it had water in it. Do you remember at the beginning? Now it has even more water in it. Oh, they look over. And now that the flashlight is lying on the ground, it's shining at a different angle. And they can see, <laughs> it's only our bathrobes, says Ba. Oh, then they carry everything inside. I guess they put their bathrobes out to dry. And now they're very wet again from the rain. Boo and Ba are soaking wet. Maybe there are ghosts after all, says Ba. They're pouring their boots into the tub. Boo, says Boo. <laughs> now that they're talking about ghosts, he's pretending to be one to scare Ba. Do you think Ba will be scared? Ba, says Ba, just as the lights come back on. <gasps> Good thing the lights are on again, says Ba, as she turns off her lamp. Now they're going to bed again. The scary books are underneath. And then Boo and Ba fall asleep and sleep all night long. Hmm. I hope they had nice dreams. Do you see that they have a picture of a cat on the wall? In some of the other Boo and Ba stories, there's a black cat. I don't know if that's a picture of that cat or just a cat. Maybe they like cats. I'm always really curious about that cat picture on the wall. Well, that's the story of Boo and Ba get wet. Has that ever happened to you that you saw something in the dark and you thought, maybe it's real? Maybe it's something scary? <sighs> Boo and Ba are lucky that they had each other, right? If you get scared at night, do you have someone come and help you? I'm glad you were here for story today. I'll see you again on another day. Okay? Bye.